Cynthia. She's a student from uh, Cox College. She's working on her master's and working on becoming a dietitian. She's from Wisconsin, so she's hanging out with us in Missouri for the next two years. And we've been talking about all kinds of different food and macronutrients and insulin and all this fascinating stuff, which you know it's fascinating to us. It's not fascinating to everyone. Yeah. Um, but we're also talking about different kinds of foods and label reading. And we got to chatting about um, a really common thing that you probably have in your kitchen um, and, and is pan spray. And tell me, Sophia, what were you telling me, like you, what you use pan spray for and what you know about it? Just growing up and everything, we would just spray it on all of our stuff that we bake right. in the oven. Um, if we're sauteing vegetables or anything, we just spray it over the yeah. saute pan and just really, just to get that stuff to not stick. That's fantastic, that's fantastic. And that's what most people are using it for, right? I've even heard people like spray it right on their chicken breast mm -hmm. and stick it on the grill and, and just cook it away like that. Mm -hmm. And what are your thoughts about how the nutrition of, of pan spray? Well, you know, it's it's zero everything across the board. I'm, you right. turn it around, you see that zero everywhere. Right. And so it's 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 pretty much you feel like you're getting yeah, nothing. not nothing. that about yeah. it. Yeah, it's a safe food to use. It's a safe thing to spray on your meat. Mm -hmm. All of that. So. When we, um, what I really find interesting though, most people don't realize what the serving size is mm -hmm. on pan spray. And so look at the serving size on pan spray. Let's see, serving size one fourth of a second of a spray. <laughs> That is interesting. Yes, exactly, exactly. What? I just think like in the history of pan spray, has anyone ever no. done a fourth of a second spray? No, because you're, yeah, you gotta get all that whole thing. thing, the whole thing, exactly. Hmm. And um, in a pan, you know, in a fourth of a second spray, mm -hmm. we get zero calories, we get zero fat, zero saturated fat, zero cholesterol, zero sodium, zero carbs, zero protein, zero everything in a fourth of a second spray, which is kind of nothing anyway. I mean, what do you think? Should I try it? Yeah, try it. One Mississippi, I don't know. Like, really I don't even know if that was a fourth of a second. <laughs> like, nobody is, like, doing that. Exactly. Because you gotta coat the whole pan. Coat the whole pan, yeah, exactly. So that's mm -hmm. like a genius marketing thing that they did years ago mm -hmm. because everybody just thinks that this is zero everything. Mm -hmm. And so let's just kind of plant the ingredients. So we have canola oil, palm oil, coconut oil, uh, lecithin from soybeans, dimethyl silicone, uh, anti-foaming agent, and rosemary extract. And it says um, that it contains propellant. So you're not just getting even fat in this, you're getting fat and chemicals. So this goes in the trash, all right? And so what you should be using is using butter, mm -hmm. olive oil, coconut oil, and you know, I'm a bacon fat fan, so use actual real fat that you know you're not getting any chemicals and you're already one step closer to whole food. So <laughs> that's our tip for the day. Are you smarter than a can of pan spray? And now you are. <laughs> Have a great day.